Do you want to learn how we retired early at the age of 38 by investing in the stock market? Here are five tips from billionaire investor Warren Buffett that helped us achieve our dream. Hey guys, it's Amber and Jared here. <laughs> here at Holy City Family, our goal is to empower you to achieve financial independence and provide the best education for your children so that everyone can pursue their dreams and ambitions. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us and make sure to hit the subscribe button below to see our weekly videos. And we look forward to learning, saving, and growing together with you. So we left off at number five, guys. So let's start with number six, market crashes are opportunities. Let's walk through a great visual on bull and bear markets, learn how to prepare for a crash, and take a look at our own custom watch list. Here's a great visual from First Trust Advisors on the history of the U.S. bear and bull markets from 1926 to 2018. And as you can see, a bull market is when the stock market drops 20% and then reaches new market highs. The average bull market lasts 9.1 years and has an average return of 476%. In a bear market is when the stock market drops 20% or more and the average bear market is 1.4 years and the average return is a loss of 41%. Be prepared for a crash well in advance. So we recommend at least two weeks of research per company that you're looking at. Make sure you read the earnings reports and then in one of our next videos we're actually going to walk you guys through what to actually research. So now let's actually take a look at our custom watch list. Here's what we created and used during the last stock market crash in March of 2020. And we actually created an algorithm that ranks each company based on the data points that are most important to us. On the far right, you can see that we have valuations, the average fair value, the buy target, margin of safety, the percentage over or under the target so that we know which stocks we need to keep our eyes on at any given time. Number seven, determine the intrinsic value. Let's take a look at a Berkshire Hathaway shareholder letter and learn how to find the intrinsic value of a stock. When we think about intrinsic value, we think about this quote from Warren Buffett in his 1989 Berkshire Hathaway shareholder letter, which is something he does every year. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. And the first time I heard this, that, that made sense to us, um, but we wondered what is a fair price and how do people know uh, what that is? It's important to know what a company or stock is worth in order to know where you should buy it and potentially sell it. Here are a few methods out there. Number one is the Benjamin Graham valuation method. And this is really similar to what Warren Buffett uses. Next is the PE model. And then there's a similar model, which is the PEG or PEG ratio. And this is similar to the PE model based on earnings, but it also has a component to account for growth type companies. Another method is the PB ratio. And last is the current value. Number eight, invest over time. It's amazing how often we hear about people investing all of their money at one time and then actually getting poor results. Yeah. Um, we actually recommend buying into a company over time and four more purchases at 10% 10, 10 increments as the price falls. Here's a great visual from Rhymes Standard & Poor's. And this dates from 1948 to 2017. And as you can see from left to right, it shows the average frequency and then the length in days below that. And from left to right, it shows negative 5% or more happens about three times a year. A 10% drop or more happens once a year. A 15% drop happens once every three and a half years. A 20% drop happens once every 6.3 years. So if you think about it, all of these times when, when there's drops from negative five to negative 20 plus percent are great opportunities to add to your position Warren Buffett calls investing over time diversification of price. This helps you ensure that you don't buy at market top. So here's a great example of how we bought Skywork Solutions over time. This chart from TradingView.com shows a dotted green line, which is our buy target. So once the price fell below this line, we purchased a quarter of our position and made our first purchase, as you can see on the chart. And then when the stock continued to fall in 10% increments, we bought again and again, all the way down to the, the fourth purchase at the bottom. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram to watch our latest videos. Number nine, have a margin of safety. 
Per Investopedia, the definition of a margin of safety is a principle of investing in which an investor only purchases securities when their market price is significantly below their intrinsic value. So having a margin of safety is a buffer for unknowns and mistakes. It's like buying something on sale. Warren Buffett targets 40% margin of safety and we do the same. So let's go back to our Skyrock solution example from tradingview.com to see how we use margin of safety in our charts. Here we draw a purple intrinsic line at $184 and then below a green line for margin of safety at $120. In this particular example, the margin of safety is set at 40% and then we update these lines as valuations change on a regular basis so that we always know where we stand. Number 10 know when to sell. Here are some of the few reasons to sell your stock. Number one, when the buy was a mistake. Number two, the business fundamentally changes. Number three, when price has risen dramatically and becomes overvalued. This Tesla chart we're gonna show you from the beginning of this year is a great example of this. You can see clearly on this chart how Tesla's price rose dramatically and is now overvalued. If you fast forward on this chart, you can see that it dropped nearly 40% from that high in February and it's starting to make its way back up now. So here's a quick recap of part two of our top 10 tips. Number six, market crashes are opportunities. Number seven, know your intrinsic value. Number eight, invest over time. Number nine, have a margin of safety, and number 10, know when to sell. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and reach out to us in the comments below. Also check us out on Instagram and email us anytime. Our goal is to read every comment and respond as often as we can. So make sure to subscribe to our channel below and join us as we learn, save, and grow together. Thank you guys. All of our videos are for informational purposes only and do not constitute financial advice. Please do your own research and consult a certified and trusted financial planner who will put your interests above their own before following any advice we may offer.